IBM Spectrum Protect Plus now offers native container support. This is for backup, recovery, and retention for Kubernetes and shortly OpenShift environments. We integrate with containers, providing the developers of the container applications a native interface. And the way we do this is we offer a SPP SASE container that we install into the container environment, which allows us to do CSI snapshots in place of the persistent volumes that are critical to the application developer. We can then take copies of these snapshots and send them to IBM Spectrum Protect Plus for longer retention. In addition, we provide out-of-the-box service level agreements, which helps us with the scheduling and governance of these snapshots and long-term retention copies. When we look at what we are providing for this functionality, we are really trying to address who will be using this. And the first person is Jane. She is one of our container developers and her world revolves around working in the container environment with things like kubectl and yaml files. And her primary wish for Spectrum Protect Plus is to provide protection for the persistent data volumes she's using when developing her container applications. Her colleague, Jose, is a backup admin for Spectrum Protect Plus. Spectrum Protect Plus is a data protection solution which offers protection for modern workloads like applications, hypervisors, and now containers. Jose works inside of the Spectrum Protect Plus user interface. And when it comes to containers, one of the things he's interested in is the governance of these containers. And we provide out-of-the-box service level agreements that include a daily, weekly, and monthly. And this not only tells us how often the data will be backed up, but for how long it'll be kept, and most important to Jose, where it'll be kept inside of the Spectrum Protect Plus environment. Jose can also monitor the status of the container backups and restores from inside of the Spectrum Protect Plus user interface. And starting in the first half of next year, he'll also be able to kick off container backups and restores. The person who knows best which persistent data volumes need to be protected is going to be the application developer. And she works in the Linux command line. And she wants to be able to use the tools she's familiar with, like kubectl and YAML files, in order to do the data protection and restore of these persistent volumes. So Spectrum Protect Plus, for instance, provides this YAML file where she can go in and enter the name of the PVC that she wants to protect, and then also enter the SLA that Spectrum Protect Plus provides so that this persistent volume will be backed up. So if she entered daily, every four hours, an in-place CSI snapshot will be created and then once a day, we'll take a copy of that and send it outside of the fault domain to Spectrum Protect Plus, where it will be retained for 31 days. So after she saves this YAML file, she'll simply use this cube CTL apply command, and now her PVC is going to be protected on a scheduled basis. If she wanted to see which backups were scheduled, she can do this kubectl git request and it will show the different backups, both the on-demand and the scheduled backups that are already running in her environment. If she chooses to do an on-demand backup, she can go into this other YAML file and here she'll specify the name of the on-demand job and then she'll specify the namespace that that PVC is located in. And this time the request type will be on-demand backup. And this is going to create a one-time in-place CSI snapshot for the PVC she lists. So again, she'll apply this YAML file using the kubectl apply dash F and then the name of that YAML file she just edited. And now she will have created a one-time snapshot. If she wanted to restore one of these PVCs, perhaps she wants to reuse the backup and spin up a test environment, she can use this kubectl describe command and she'll see not only the on-demand snapshots, but she'll see also the scheduled snapshots 
and the copies that were sent to Spectrum Protect Plus. And so she can simply choose the timestamp for what she wants to restore. She'll copy that, and then she'll go in and edit this YAML file, which is going to be her restore YAML file. And in this restore YAML file, she is going to specify first off the name of the, the restore job, the request type is restore, the PVC that she wants to restore, and then the target she wants to restore to. She'll then plug in that restore point she just copied. She'll save this YAML file. And then she'll use the kubectl apply command in order to kick off that restore. So Spectrum Protect Plus now provides native container support. This includes the ability to do scheduled backups, on-demand backups, and restores. We provide the support to the interfaces for the end users who will be using it. So for our backup admin, that would be inside of the Spectrum Protect Plus user interface. And for our application developers like Jane, we will provide tools that she's familiar with like kubectl and YAML files so that she can request the protection of her critical PVCs directly in the Linux command line. Thank you very much.